This time we'll repair a laptop charger. We're going to need our soldering iron and of course some solder. And let's get started. Here's our patient. We'll go ahead and strip down the wires here. I've already done it. Uh, we'll go through the process of stripping the wire here. I'm going to roll the razor blade lightly across the wire and then we'll pull the outer coating off and this is what you have. You have the exposed wire, the uh, shielding on the outside and of course you have another wire Then you pull that shielding back which is the power. Alright so there you see exposed the shielding and the power. Alright so I'm going to inspect the charger cable here. I'm just taking a look to see if it needs to be soldered and so far it looks okay. It just looks like you know the uh, insulation is broken so I'll just uh, slide some heat shrink over that and uh, you can use a um, heat gun, cigarette lighter and we'll see what we have laying around the shop today so I'm just gonna slide heat shrink over that and that should take care of that alright so this is what the plan is we're going to solder this wire together like so let's get started alright so I'm gonna take uh, some shrink tube here just cut it to size and I'm gonna go ahead and slide that over my cable you don't want to solder your wire before you slide that over your cable or you'll have to undo your soldering connection and then you know put your heat shrink on alright so I'm going to prep the wires I'm going to tin them with some solder so I'm going to just heat up the wire and flow some solder through the wire in preparation to connect it to the other wire. Once that is done, I will tin the other side as well. I'm going to clean off the excess solder and prepare to go ahead and solder up the uh, positive or power this is where a set of helping hands or alligator clips would come in pretty handy trying to solder hold it with your fingers and get it all in the frame it's kinda difficult so just bear with me while I get that done. So we'll apply our heat and you'll see the wires will join and remove. And that is a pretty solid connection. Now I'll go ahead and test it. And yeah, it's pretty good. It's not going anywhere. I'm going to go ahead and pull the uh, heat shrink tube over that joint and once that's in uh, the area that I want it to be we'll heat it up you can either use a heat gun cigarette lighter or as I'm doing here you can use the heat from the soldering iron itself using the soldering iron I don't know it's kinda convenient but it's a pain I think the heat gun is the way to go next up would be a safety lighter and then the very last resort would be to use the soldering iron so it takes a little longer but hey if you don't have a heat gun, use a soldering iron, just like I did.
all right so we're gonna tend the the ground here we're gonna tend both sides and what I'll do once I get both of those sides tinned I'm going to use some leftover wire I'm gonna kind of make a bridge I'm going to tin that piece of wire and then I will solder in between and you'll see what I mean coming up shortly alright so here's that wire that I was talking about we're gonna tin that just apply some heat let the wire heat up and we'll tin it So now that we've got that good intent, I'll take it and we'll solder it up to uh, our existing uh, wires here for the ground. Oh, too hot. That was hot. And still hot. So yeah, kitties, when you're soldering, you may want to let things cool off before you go trying to pick them up back to the job at hand <laughs> we'll go ahead and solder this connection and it all flows together and we'll do the same to the other side now you'll notice here I'm having a bit of difficulty getting this wire to um, adhere and it's because I didn't tin it very well so I'm gonna have to grab the solder and apply um, more solder to it that way it'll stick so you wanna kinda of pre-tin pretty good or else you'll run into these types of issues flux pin would help but I don't have any so I have to make do alright so now that is soldered so I'm gonna grab my side cutters and I'll cut that to size there's a piece uh, extended off that we don't need. We'll go ahead and snip that now. Alright, so I'll go ahead and wick in a little bit more solder to make that a solid joint. And once that is done, We'll go ahead and pull the heat shrink down. And then that will be that for this end of the uh, laptop charger. Now let's go ahead and apply a little bit more solder. Making this a solid joint here. Making it nice and strong. Alright, so we'll go ahead and slide the heat shrink down. And you'll want to make sure that the that solder connection has cooled. If you don't, if it's still warm and you try to pull this down, it's going to shrink on you. And it's going to draw up and you're not going to be able to pull it all the way down. Alright, so this time we have fire. I'm using a lighter this time. 
and you'll see how much easier and how much quicker it is to shrink this down so I think I'll prefer to use a lighter heat gun would be cool but again I don't have one this works just as good and there you go nice insulated wire So we'll do the same, and, and uh, again, with this end of the charger, we did not do any soldering. I didn't see the need to. It looked okay, other than the broken insulation. The wires on the inside were fine, so we're just going to add this heat shrink tube to provide some rigidity and um, prevent uh, further damage. that is that and you see now it's charging the laptop very good job mission accomplished okay.